Rogers is here with us. Now you are in a well-known video game. Yeah, I'm in a few well-known video games, but one of the characters wound up in this film. And that, of course, is M. Bison, yes, M. Bison from Street Fighter. From the Street Fighter and, uh, series. It, it may interest you to know that in the uh, press materials, they describe you as the unforgiving world dictator. <laughs> that would be me. Now, what in the world is an unforgiving world dictator doing in a sweet, sweet movie like Wreck-It Ralph? Well, because Wreck-It Ralph is also a bad guy, and he has to commune, if you will, with his peers. So he finds himself in a room with a, a host of classic sort of bad guys from the video games. And I think the movie wouldn't be complete without the classic world dictator, M. Bison. Even if he doesn't say much, the fact that he's there says a whole lot about him as an icon and about Wreck-It Ralph as a bad guy. Now, I understand doing voiceover work for a feature film is very different from doing voiceover work for a an animated uh, animated uh, a game, or I mean a video game. Yes, it's very different. And uh, after you've spent a whole day uh, dictating to the world yes. at a video game, is it hard to shake it off when you head home? Um, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm so grateful to have the work, and usually by the time you're done screaming and yelling and major punches and cycle crushing, it's time to go home and take a nap. And so in, in this movie, though, you got to do more dialogue, true? Just a little more, yeah, just a little more. There was no fighting for me in this film, which, uh, which is definitely sort of a twist and turn for M. Bison to not to show up to fight anybody, but to help and to be of service. So I think it's a, it's a classic twist. I'm counting on the series, on the, uh, the next version, where he gets to do more and actually make it to fight somebody. Okay, well, we will look forward to seeing another side of, of M. Bison, M. Bison here in Wreck-It Ralph. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.